very sort of strong indigenous culture. Um, I mean, I don't feel particularly released to be able to write about that except from an observing point of view. But there's sort of a little gap as well in which we can insert ourselves off. Um, and that took me quite a while to get right. So, yeah, and the title is kind of an umbrella. I mean, I, I hope they don't shy from the hard losses. It's, it's finding the voice for the novel is the key thing. So, you must. Yeah, um, and so that... It would be um, a dead heat, I think, between Overcast, which is a podcast app. I listen to lots of American, British and Australian podcasts, as well as New Zealand, or audible.com, because there's just an unlimited supply of story. I think somewhere on the internet it says that my favourite food was spaghetti a la, a spaghetti puttanesca, but... Um, now that I've had the wind up me about carbohydrates, I'm mostly eating um, vegetables and quinoa is pretty nice. But you know what, I, th I reckon olive oil is actually my most favourite ingredient, closely followed by avocado. I can't show you right now, but I can tell you that I'm a reasonably good knitter. And um, I think of myself as decidedly inept when it comes to craft or making things, but um, knitting is wonderfully repetitive and mindless and um, I'm, I'm really attracted to uh, repetitive activities like running and cataloguing and knitting because the mind can run free. Am I allowed one? Okay, I, I think Frédéric Chopin. Um, because um, the piano is my favourite instrument and I, I never ever tire of listening to his music and he led such a romantic and febrile life. I think it would be fun. Okay, the TV show, The West Wing, all seven series. Joe Grepp say I watch on a regular loop. Especially now that, you know, all hope has left the White House, it's really good to live in West Wing fantasy land. Um, one book. I think, it's such an impossible question, but I think today I'll say um, The Red Shoe by Ursula Dubisarsky, which I think is a work of genius. What was the other one? The album. Mm. I'll never forget, I was brought up in a classical music household, we weren't allowed to put on commercial radio. I will never forget buying my first rebellious album. Um, and I've forgotten what the title of it is. It's the first Sex Pistols album, the um, punk rock album. That was sort of really defiant act and exciting, mean music. <laughs> so quite important for me.